friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome. If you're new here, my name is Jen. I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Saturday. It's Saturday. It is massive, massive, massive grocery haul day. I went to both Walmart and Costco and I have lots to share with you. So if you're excited, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because I do a grocery haul every Saturday and I upload videos five days a week. So I'd love to have you join our community. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I have personalized to you macros and calories highly recommend, and one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to all my favorite things and my Facebook group, come on over, join us there. We'd love to have you or down in that description box. So let's jump into this week's massive grocery haul. So here is my massive stock up haul for the week, well, for the month. I do go to Costco once a month and it's actually been five or six weeks since I went. So I did need quite a few things at Costco. And then I also went to Walmart, found quite a few new food finds and lots of good stuff to share with you. So let's jump in. First, let's go ahead and start with everything that I picked up from Walmart. I bought a 0% non-fat Greek yogurt. I actually need this for my meal prep. And I want to start making smoothies and adding non-fat Greek yogurt to the smoothie for some extra protein and creaminess. So I decided to go ahead and pick up the big container. We needed a spray nozzle for the hose in our front yard so this one was really nice it was ten dollars and it's metal so it should last quite a while I picked up some thin sliced mesquite smoked turkey breast I want to start having sandwiches for lunch on the weekend or making turkey melts like a grilled cheese basically with some turkey for some protein 1% milk for Troy he is finally out of all that extra milk that I had purchased this is a new find for me and when I was at Costco I actually saw that they sold the chocolate of this by the case, but I just picked a single one up at Walmart because I want to try it out. This is the Shamrock Farms Vanilla Rockin' Protein Builder Protein Shake, and there is 30 grams of protein, 190 calories, and it is lactose-free. If you didn't know, I put a protein shake in my coffee every single morning to start my day off with lots and lots of protein, so I'm excited to try this, and if I like it, I will most likely go ahead and pick up the case next time I go to Costco of the chocolate. A three-pack of my my all-time favorite grass-fed, grass-finished ground beef. It's funny, it's more affordable here than it was in Washington. I shared in a grocery haul when I was still in Washington that it was just about $20 for three, and this one at, in Arizona is still the same price, the $17.80 or whatever it is for three pounds, which is a really good deal. I also picked up some prune juice for Troy per his request. A couple of yogurts. I do have, I think, four in the fridge. I do eat a yogurt almost every single day, and so I picked up an Oikos Triple Zero Lemon Tart. This one is delicious, and there's 15 grams of protein and then this is a flavor I've never seen or tried and this is banana cream that sounds so good paper plates because it's convenient some sugar-free jello in lemon I want to mix this with some whipped topping and make it into a dessert kind of like a jello salad dessert and I thought that lemon sounded really good for summer just a couple of produce items one orange for my meal prep and some green onions for salad diced ham is for a recipe this next week I'm really excited for meal prep and dinner so definitely stay tuned after the grocery haul to see what's on my menu and what you'll be seeing for meal prep on Monday. I also grabbed some English muffins. This is for my meal prep and then Troy said that he would actually like to have English muffins on hand for breakfast. Some light shredded Fiesta blend cheese because I need this for some dinner recipes and Troy's been really liking having this on salad. It has been a long time since I bought Laughing Cow cheese and I like to substitute mayo and other condiments on sandwiches with the Laughing Cow. It's less calorie points and you get some protein and since I want turkey sandwiches this week I grab the garlic and herb laughing cow this has been a staple in our house we've been loving these it is such a quick easy side Troy can pop it in the microwave for lunches that is the Uncle Ben's ready rice so I actually picked up three packages I have roasted chicken 
fried rice with peas, which sounds really good, and then cheddar and broccoli. And then also for a little convenience, I grabbed the roasted garlic and the sour cream and chive Idahoan mashed potatoes. No sugar added mandarin orange cups. I need little orange segments for my meal prep. We like to drain these and put them on top of cottage cheese for a snack. A can of pineapple tidbits. This is also for my meal prep this next week. For salads, I grabbed some real bacon pieces. Both Troy and I have really been enjoying salads lately. I don't know if it's just the hot weather. It just sounds really good and refreshing. So we needed some bacon bits. Some traditional shredded pork. Now I found this in the deli section at Walmart. This is for my meal prep this next week. This is what was recommended to make it an easy recipe. So I'm really excited to share it with you. And this again is just traditional shredded rotisserie seasoned fully cooked pork. Some queso fresco cheese for my meal prep. And then I did pick up a little panino snack. I love having these. These are such a great protein snack. I've been getting a lot of questions on what I eat to get to my protein goal every day. These little things come in really handy. I also decided to grab the Nature Valley Protein Granola and Oat and Honey. You know I love putting granola on my yogurt and I've heard really good things about this protein one so I picked it up. Also some croutons for salads for the week. This is the Texas Toast Seasoned Croutons. Troy is still coughing quite a bit from his bout of COVID so I grabbed two containers of nighttime cough medicine. Some low fat cottage cheese. This is for a recipe for this week's meal prep. I also needed some salsa for my lunch meal prep recipe. Two cans of no salt added cut green beans for our dogs. We give them green beans instead of table scraps. Blue cheese dressing for Troy. The Lighthouse is my all time favorite blue cheese dressing. I have bought a couple other ones in the past and he didn't care for them so I just grabbed the big container of the Lighthouse. My favorite no sugar added sauces come from Sweet Baby Ray's. I love the hickory barbecue sauce and I also grabbed the honey mustard dipping sauce. Quite a while ago, actually my first trip to Costco when we moved here, I grabbed the Just Bear chicken nuggets. They're incredible and I thought how good would they be dipped in this honey mustard. So I picked up both sauces. And lastly from Walmart, I grabbed a five pack of the P3 Portable Protein Snacks. This is another great way to get in protein, 11 grams per little stack. There's turkey, Colby Jack, and almonds and they're really good. They're a great on the go portable snack for lots and lots of protein. So that is everything from Walmart. Let's jump into my Costco haul. First I picked up a refill of paper towels because we are complete out. The last roll to our name is on our paper towel holder as I film this video. I fell in love with these when I saw them. This is a three piece bowl set. I can use these for meal prep, for serving. We plan on having my in-laws and things over during the summer for barbecues. And these are so cute. You actually get a large red bowl, medium mustard yellow bowl, and a small green bowl for $14.99. Again, it is the Bloom brand, and these are from Costco. Gatorade Zero for Troy. I've been sharing with you guys that this has been great for him to get in some electrolytes in this heat. And then, of course, a big 35 pack of Diet Coke for him. Some Nyla Bone broth bones and beef for the dogs. These are currently on coupon for $13.99. Now, these are open because I ate these as a snack on my way home from Costco. These are a uh, Amazing, 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 amazing. These are the gourmet almonds, garlic, herb, and olive oil. $10.99 for this big bag at Costco. It's 170 calories per serving. They are absolutely delicious. These would be really good on top of a salad too. Huge pack of eggs because we are just about out of eggs and we eat a lot in this family. I did grab a couple of items of clothing. These super cute kind of paper bag shorts were on clearance for $7.99 and I I thought these would be great just to lounge around the house. And then I did pick up a pair of workout pants. These are from the brand Dan Skin, and these are on sale for $9.99. They are the 7 8 length, which is my all time favorite. Montreal steak seasoning because it is barbecue season year round here in Arizona. And this is our favorite seasoning for steak. A two pack of Listerine mouthwash. This is my favorite, and we are just about out of mouthwash. A two pack of Rayos marinara. I love, love, love this marinara. I actually count this as zero points. It has a nice clean ingredient. I also grabbed some Zip Fizz. We have been really liking having Zip Fizz in a bottle of water at least once a day for the electrolytes and all the vitamins that came in here. We kind of got back into our Zip Fizz when we had COVID and we've really been enjoying them. So I picked up just the traditional pack, the grapefruit punch and orange. This is my favorite string cheese, all time favorite string cheese. It's a little bit more expensive than some of the other options at Costco. It is the organic Valley Stringles, 
but they are so good. They don't have that weird rubbery texture like some string cheese has, if you know what I'm talking about. If you know, you know. These don't have that, and they're so delicious, so I picked up another pack. The Magic Erasers are on coupon for $6.99. You get four extra strength, three kitchen, and four bath. We use Magic Erasers all the time. These are big game changers with cleaning. Also on sale is the Chosen Foods Avocado Oil Cooking Spray. This is my all-time favorite spray. Super clean, $7.99 for two, and these are the big containers, so that is an incredible deal. I also grabbed another big container of just regular Daisy sour cream. We always have sour cream in our house. We've also been loving Kinder seasoning, and Costco had at least 10 different kinds, and this one I had to pick up. This is the wood-fired garlic with hard wood smoked flavor. I thought this would be so good on burgers chicken, fish, so I picked that up. Tide Pods are also on coupon. Whenever they have this deal, I always pick them up. And actually, we needed Tide Pods. We were almost out, so the deal came at a perfect time. And that was if you bought the box of Tide Pods and you bought the Downy Fabric Softener, you actually got $10 off the Fabric Softener, which made this huge container $3. So for $32.50, you got the box of Tide Pods and the Downy Fabric Softener. That's a deal you definitely can't pass up. My fitness coach wants me to start incorporating an avocado cup into my meals almost daily. So I went ahead and grabbed the Holy Guacamole Organic Smashed Avocado Cups. 130 calories a piece, nice clean ingredients, and we already know I love avocado. I also picked up the La Tortilla Factory Low Carb Flour Tortillas because we're almost out of tortillas, and these ones have really good ingredients. If you want a low carb tortilla that's low calorie, low point with good ingredients, the La Tortilla Factory is the best that you can get. Just a tiny bit of produce, including three huge packs of raspberries. These, you guys, are $2.89 a piece. $2.89. So I went ahead and grabbed three so that we can have some raspberries on hand. I've also been incorporating fruit with whipped topping as my dessert a lot, and it's just a healthier dessert option. And then last but not least, I did pick up some organic spring mix for salads. Oh, I guess I did grab a case of Coors Light for Troy as well. So that is my massive, massive stock of haul from both Costco and Walmart. So let's jump into what's for dinner and what you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep. So I literally have no idea what happened to my menu that I wrote out for the week. It is not with the recipes in the drawer in my kitchen where it normally is. So I'm just quickly going to walk you through the recipes that I'm doing for this week. So for dinners, we're gonna make it simple. We're gonna do a burger night. We're going to have BLTs. I am going to make a skillet lasagna recipe, ham and pineapple fried rice. You guys will see this recipe in Wednesday's What I eat in a day. And for meal prep for the week, I am doing English muffin breakfast pizzas for breakfast. I'm super excited about that. I am making a protein packed dessert. It is a parfait and I can't wait for it. You guys are going to be really excited, especially those of you that are asking what I do to reach my protein goal. And then for lunches, I am making easy pork carnita rice bowls. So that's why I picked up that shredded up pork. So that's what's on my menu for dinners and what you guys will be seeing on Monday for meal prep. Thank you for joining me for this week's WW Grocery Haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the good stuff that I picked up from Walmart, Costco, what's for dinner, what you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep, some really good deals and some new food finds. So if you enjoyed it, give it a big huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on so you never miss a future video. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching, links, discounts to my favorite things, and come on over, join us on Facebook. We'd love to have you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.